Hello there, YouTube. My name is Dr. Carlo Jet. I'm an emergency medicine board certified physician, and I produce content on YouTube about education. This specifically is targeted at patients interested in knowing more about TIA and strokes. So I want to talk about more specifically about what exactly it means. And a lot of people say I had a mini stroke or I almost had a stroke. And we really need to define that properly so that when you communicate back to your doctor or a new physician coming into the ER, we know exactly what we're talking about, okay? So let's talk about stroke. There's two main kinds of stroke. Hemorrhagic, in which there's a bleed to the brain, and there's uh, ischemic, where there's not enough blood flow. But there's actually many different kinds or ways you can end up with stroke. A stroke just means a, a part of your brain died and that part of the brain might have died from trauma. If you had a, a big contusion to your brain and it bruised the brain and that part of the brain died. If you had encephalitis, which is a brain infection, there's many different subclasses of encephalitis that could cause damage and injury to your brain. If you have a prolonged seizure that might cause injury and death to tissue because of what happened during that electrical storm in your brain. Uh, so traumatic brain injury, acquired brain injury, other procedures, if you have brain surgery and during the axis, some of the tissue died, that caused a stroke, that caused death to the brain tissue. Now, the two main kinds are hemorrhagic and ischemic, as it means to the most people who have a stroke where they're like this, or they can't walk, they can't talk, and things like that. But there are many other ways or pathways where you can end up with the end results of an area of the brain has been diseased or damaged and uh, is injured permanently, usually. Um, so TIAs are called transient ischemic attacks or is common misnomer, which is not proper, is mini strokes. TIAs is patients with person with stroke-like symptoms, but the symptoms go away. These symptoms should not last more than a few hours, two or three hours. And if they're resolved completely, they are termed TIAs. However, we found out that up to 30% of people who had TIAs that were significant, if we took all those patients and sent them to an MRI, 30% of those will actually have a small stroke, which is why that term mini stroke is a misnomer because a mini stroke to me means it's like an iPad and an iPad mini. It's the same device, it's just smaller. If it's like a, a, a car and a, the Mini Cooper, you know, it's, it's the same thing, but smaller. When TIA and stroke are not really the same. TIA is like, oh, I, I, I want to have a stroke, but you don't. If you have an MRI and it does not show signs of actual brain injury, then there was no death to that tissue, at least the one that we can see. If you took a microscope, maybe you could see really, really tiny, 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 tiny stroke. But that's the point. So mini stroke, TIA and stroke are not the same thing. TIA is transient and it does not result in um, brain damage. And then stroke is actual damage. Mini stroke, to me, it just means small stroke. So a lot of patients come in, oh, they told me I almost had a stroke. You did or you didn't. And, that, and not to be rude, but it's, we need to know. Is there an uh, area of your brain that's scarred and injured or is there not? So TIA, stroke, and let's just stop calling mini stroke, just call it a small stroke. That would be the proper way to talk about this and certainly would communicate more efficiently when you come in to be seen by the doctor and about your findings. So what do you think? Did you find this video useful? Did it help you? Is it gonna help your practice if you're a provider or is it gonna help you as a patient in terms of when you communicate to your doctors? If you have specific questions or ideas for new videos or things that I could explain to you, please let me know in the comments below and we'll post some other educational content. Hey, take care guys, God bless.